Well, aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. It's my honor to be connecting with you today. It is a Wednesday, and I want to say it's the 27th of the month of June. Today is the secret energy centers, energy circles of the human body. So I'm very grateful for you joining me today. I hope that those who are just tuning in or just flipping through stick around for these secret energy circles of the human body because these are actually not very well known. Although if you studied some forms of uh, martial arts, you may be familiar with some of them. Uh, most people have a general understanding, but today I'm going to be going to some deeper secrets of them as well as wisdom and practices for opening them. Now this was uh, information that is in one of my teacher's books. My teacher's name is Master Shah and he is a world-renowned teacher and master and a Grand Master of Qigong. This is actually one of his techniques that he learned from his spiritual fathers <clears throat> put in his book called Soul Mind Body Medicine and so I will be referring to that book today. Uh, you can make a note of that one, Soul Mind Body Medicine. And there's some great, great, great wisdom in there, including this. And today we're going to be working with that and practicing with it. So thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoyed the last couple of days of live streams. We've had a very good uh, series of information. Last week we focused on manifestation. That was excellent. And also the universal law of universal service. Got lots of good feedback. Yesterday, got lots of people jumping in and enjoying uh, the chanting using Kuan Yin's mantras. A lot of blessings coming through uh, her mantras. Today, I'm going to be in a little bit different position. As you can tell, I'm standing and uh, I have uh, my ability to move around here today. One of the reasons why I'm doing this is because the energy circles require the movement of your body and your hand positions and I'm unable to show that when I'm in a sitting position. So that's why I am standing today. Also you get to see the full size of my painting behind me. You can see it's quite large. It's, uh, it's actually six foot by eight foot the picture itself and the frame uh, is a 12 foot long from tip to tip which you can't even see the ends of the tips. Uh, when I <clears throat> when I tried to uh, to bring it over from the mainland over to Hawaii um, then literally it uh, it would not fit <laughs> the top piece would not fit uh, in the container that I had paid for and I asked the people I measured the, the container uh, excuse me I asked the people to measure the container from corner to corner because I knew how long this was 144 inches and uh, they didn't. They simply looked on their schematic and said, oh yeah, it'll fit. And so I drove from my home, my final trip, the trucks packed and driving down to San Diego to the dock uh, with this 12 foot pole on my truck. And I try to fit it into the container and literally I'm, I'm getting on the, the, the flight over in two hours. And they said, oh, sorry, it's not, not gonna fit. I'm like, well, that's not what you guys told me. So I ended up having to uh, make a deal with the freight master we ended up shipping it over on a different boat, but it arrived and I, I was able to piece it back together. So it's an amazing piece and that's what sits behind me when you see them on my live streams. So we've got about 22 folks that have joined us today. So welcome Kayla, welcome Sherry Jarman, aloha and welcome to Elizabeth, welcome Angie, aloha Kristen. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it has to do with pouring a handful of salt of water. But I'm sure you have some information there. Maybe it was your last uh, cut and paste. Welcome Archana. Welcome Maddie. Welcome also to Heather Houston. Aloha. Welcome Zilki. Welcome Lisa. Welcome CJ. Welcome to Robin Toth. Welcome Shelly. <coughs> Aloha Jennifer. Aloha Kamurudin. 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 And I have to, you have to tell me what that name means, Kamarudin. Welcome, Della. And welcome also. Thank you for all the hearts and all the crosses, all of the blessings. Welcome, Linda Jansen. Welcome, Doug. Aloha, Maddie. I think I, I commented. And so you get a second aloha, Maddie. Welcome, Julia. And welcome, Nikki Davis. 
Aloha Janine, Aloha Ezekiel, Aloha Jacqueline, welcome also to Lori Hickman, welcome Rose Williams, dot I from Toronto, welcome Christiana, and Aloha Susan Birchmore, welcome, welcome to, welcome Ted Digpol. And so, it took a while to say hello to all of you. Uh, hopefully, we'll have as many souls as we had yesterday, but that's okay. Whoever's here is the exact and right people that need to be here at this time. As you may or may not know, all of these are recorded, and I also post them on podcast approximately one week later. So, it's always a great opportunity to, uh, to listen again, or if you're the kind of soul that finds it difficult to tune in when I'm live, <clears throat> uh, just go to my website. It's listed above, asoulhealer.com, and um, scroll to my blog area. Um, which you can access in two different ways on the front page and then uh, from there you have many choices you can watch this uh, you can actually have it literally emailed to you every time a podcast comes out you can listen to it on your phone whatever is easy for you so welcome Chrissy Kota welcome also to uh, Heather and welcome Cheryl or Conroe or Conroy thank you thank you thank you for joining today we're focusing on the secret energy circles. Now, these uh, can be very secret depending on who you're connecting with. Uh, very often people might know of the energy circles, but the practices very often kept secret and sacred. Very few of the true energy masters will show you how to put their fingers in the correct postures. Aloha Nelson Feidler. Um, and very few energy masters will teach you the mantras, how you do your body power, how you, do, how you position yourself to move the chi through your body in the highest and best way. So uh, today I'm going to be using the wisdom shared in Master Shah's book called Soul, Mind, Body, Medicine. And I'm going to be working from pages 21 through pages 35. So if you want to make notes of that, you're welcome to get the books yourself or re-practice for anything that you don't remember here today. Uh, thank you all for hitting the share button and letting other people know about this as well. So let us go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Placing our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position. We're going to drop the left hand in front of the heart, center the right hand, gently pointed towards heaven. This is again what's called a hand mudra. It's a body power position that assists us in connecting to heaven. So let us do so at this time. Dear beloved divine, the Tao, the source, all beings of light serving the planet of the light side, masters, ascended masters, lamas, gurus, sifus, and saints, angels, healing angels, and archangels, Buddhas and bodhisattvas, love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you. We ask you to please at this time come to join us, come to assist us to further develop our spiritual channels bless us to open our four major energy meridians that we'll be practicing today bless us to remember and practice this wisdom consistently so that we can more align to you and heaven we're very very grateful thank you thank you thank you dear the source soul song of love peace and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes love you honor you appreciate you respect you thank you for your presence. We ask you to please turn on and as we chant to connect heart to heart, soul to soul, we ask you to please go to each of those watching, please bless them to open the heart and soul, connect. So for those that are new, just tuned in, this is a soul song, it's a short version of it. And this is also a blessing, so you make a request at this time. For those who know the song, please join in. Lula Lula Li Lula Lula La Li Lula Lula Li Lula Lula Li Lula Lula Li Lula Oh I wash in her ling Oh I trun ran lay Wong Li Hing Rung 
儿暮时生，相爱平安那些，相爱平安那些。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I've got some new folks joining. I'm going to scroll back here, acknowledge everybody that's new coming in. So welcome Nelson Fiedler, welcome Christy Kota, aloha to um, Jessica, welcome Christy Vigil, Vigil, Vigil. Welcome Nels, good to see you up and early coming in from India. Welcome to also to uh, uh, Cheryl or Conroy. Welcome Rochelle Tomlins, welcome Michelle Lynn Gills, welcome Anne-Marie coming in from Australia. Welcome also Johnny. Johnny's over in the Caribbean as well as Kristen. Welcome Vanessa Thompson. And welcome Janice. Uh, let's see, welcome Zach Johnson. And welcome to anybody else whose names I might have missed. Please forgive me. So love you, love you, love you. Thank you all for joining. Today is teaching on the sacred energy centers and sacred energy circles excuse me we've covered the energy centers at a different time so my name is Paul Fletcher uh, the the master that's put in front of my name is simply means that I'm a, a certified master teacher I've been certified by the Tao Institute which was started by my spiritual teacher and father whose name is Dr. and Master Jigong Sha and this is Master Sha here he's written about uh, 21 books and he's dedicated to serving humanity he wants to do his part, just a second, to, uh, to help human beings. And he's doing that by sharing the sacred wisdom that was taught to him when he was training in the deep mountains of China. And so a lot of what I'll be sharing with you today is through one of his books. I saw a question come up earlier. Uh, welcome, Atina. I saw a question come up earlier about, do you buy the books from me? Uh, no, <laughs> you don't, but good question. You can get them from Amazon or just about anywhere. Um, you actually can find a lot of Master Shah's books very affordably. And one of the reasons why is because, um, for example, when I receive the healing transmissions that I've received to offer extraordinary blessings, um, you know, one of the transmissions that the first one I got was $1,000. And he said, you know, I don't need your money. He says, go buy my books, like the ones I'm going to be using today. Go give them to humanity to teach people how to self-heal. That's your service. So, you know, because on a $10 book, he might make $1 or $2. Obviously, his life does not revolve around uh, money. Uh, so, but he is interested in serving humanity and waking them up. And today is spiritual practices to accomplish that. So, there are four major uh, energy circles in the human body and some of you may have uh, maybe semi-familiar with them for example raise, show your hands who is familiar with like the kundalini and they've heard about the kundalini serpent or um, uh, fire running up the spine you know things like that when they do yoga okay so probably at least 50 percent of you if not more have heard of that well that's actually half of one of these energy circles. There's another half. That other half goes through the center of the body and connects to that back half that you may be familiar with. So a lot of people are also familiar with chakras. Show of hands, how many people are familiar with chakras, right? 90%, you'd have to be sleeping underneath a rock or, or just happen to stumble across this if you weren't familiar with the chakra. Not too many people who are unfamiliar with, with spirituality are gonna be sticking around because it might butt up against their belief systems. But if you are in, uh, invested in spirituality and invested in your developing your energy body, aligning yourself to our Creator, then, um, then the chakras are an integral part of that. That's a whole other teaching. But there is a channel that connects those, uh, what Master Shah refers to as soul houses, which you might know as chakras. And that channel is also what, the second of the four channels I'll be talking about today, or energy circles. Welcome to Ben. Good to see you here, Ben. 
Uh, also, welcome to Atina, and welcome to any other souls I might have missed. Welcome Angie Taylor. So, the other two channels are called the Dai and Chang Meridians. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start reading directly from Master Shah's book so that you get the word straight from the Master's mouth, uh, so to speak. So, for those of you that are, want to follow, this is on page 119 of the Soul, Mind, Body Medicine book. Now, I, I recognize it's backwards in your screen. I can't change that fact but it's called Soul, Mind, Body, Medicine. It's an excellent starter book if you're unfamiliar with uh, the wisdom and teachings of this teacher. And um, uh, I'll, I won't give you his background right now. I do that many times. You just have to, uh, to learn it when you get the book. So I'll read it to you. If, as the teaching uh, has it, the human being is the small universe, uh, and all nature is the big universe, then we must understand that the small universe to understand the big universe and vice versa. Whatever happens in the small universe also happens in the big universe. This is more true than you can possibly comprehend. And the other way around. Energy in the big universe generally flows through two main energy circles that circulate also through the universe. Now think about that for a second. This energy circle, all of these, Throw, flow through you. They flow through trees. They flow through Mother Earth. They flow through our galaxy and they flow through the universe. So the interconnectedness of our energy vessel is directly connected to all life that we are very, very distant from mentally and conceptually. Okay? Uh, energy in the big universe generally flows through two main energy circles that circulate through the universe, the horizontal energy circle and the vertical energy circle. In the physical world, the horizontal and vertical energy circles represent the flow of energy in everything. For example, in, in mathematics, the x and the y axis on, on the planes, this is math, um, represent the horizontal and vertical energy circles. The Holy Cross is a similar representation for the spiritual world. The horizontal and vertical energy circles are the key circuits of energy flow for every soul in the universe. Not a small statement. In the body, the horizontal energy circle is represented by what's called the Di Meridian, D-A-I, Di Meridian. The vertical energy circle is, com is com comprised of the Ren and the Du Meridians. I'll show you an image in just a minute. Both are connected to the Chang Meridian. These four major meridians of traditional Chinese medicine are called the Ren, Du, Dai, and Chang Meridians. All have starting points in what is called the Snow Mountain area. Raise your hand. Heard of the Kundalini? That's also referred to as the Snow Mountain area by certain uh, teachings, depending on the form of the teachings. So um, they all have an intersection at that Kundalini point. Very interesting. All right, so now I'm going to show you the image. Okay, so you'll notice on the picture uh, that has the body facing you, you'll see the straight line. That straight line, if you look at it uh, from the side view, is actually going through the center of the body, up over the top of the head, and back down in front of the spine. Okay. Now, there's another line that goes vertical, but it's jag. It goes back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. That is actually a circle going up in a spiral. So that is a spiraling circle going up. Then there's one at the bottom, at the waist area, and that one is horizontal. Okay, and that runs through the waist area. And I'll describe more information as we go on that. Okay, so those are the positions of the energy circles. Hopefully I left that up there long enough for you to see. Promoting energy flow in the horizontal and vertical energy centers is, excuse me, I got to say energy circles. 
uh, and vertical energy circles is critical for balancing one's soul, mind, and body. It is essential in achieving complete health on the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual levels. Proper energy flow in these improve your health, your quality of life, and they prolong life. Aloha and welcome, Crystal. Aloha and welcome to all those whose name I might not have seen. Welcome, Dio. Uh, on a higher level, the horizontal and vertical energy circles are keys to transforming one's life and advancing enlightenment of the soul, mind, and body. On a universal level, see there's two levels he's talking about. One is on the physical level. It assists us with our energy and our health. On the universal level, these two energy circles bring world peace, harmony, and balance. Hmm, something to think about, huh? Aloha and welcome, Mega Varma. So, this is the key to harmony and balance for the human being and for the universes. Welcome, Judy Hart. Aloha. Connect with the big universe when you promote energy flow in your horizontal and vertical circles. Request its blessings for your energy circles and offer your service to the universe. So the big universe and the small universe, as Master Shah has indicated, is very connected. When we utilize the four powers, mind power, body power, sound power, soul power, we need to connect to the outer universe because it will serve us. It will offer us its Shen, Qi, Jing. For those that are new, Shen, Qi, and Jing, you've heard of Qi, that's energy, right? Qi Gong. Jing is matter. Shen is soul. Soul uh, uh, is comprised of soul, heart, and mind. So the universe has soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter at a much higher frequency than you and I. So when we connect, we bring in those higher frequencies, transform our more dense frequencies, thereby opening up the soul body. Okay? All right. Practice with the Ren, Du, Dai, and Chong meridians to promote energy flow in your horizontal and vertical energy centers. The universe rejoices in the greater harmony that results because you've harmonized your vessel with the universe's vessel. Get it? Let's move into a practice. The vertical energy circle of the body is a loop of energy that circulates vertically through the Ren and Du meridians commonly referred to as Rendu. The Ren Meridian starts from the Snow Mountain area. Where is the Snow Mountain area? People have heard of the Kundalini. The Snow Mountain area, same as Kundalini. But where is it? Everybody has their own perspective. According to my teacher with his spiritual third eye, he directs it, says, put your, your finger in your belly button, draw an invisible line through your body, go back two-thirds of the way, and then drop down two and a half inches. That is approximately the center of the Snow Mountain slash Kundalini area. And this is the beginning point of all of these energy circles. Okay? Uh, so it says the Ren Meridian starts at the Snow Mountain area and flows, this part is very important, it flows up the front midline to the top of the head, so right through the center of the body to the top of the head. But it's doing something very specific. It's gathering the energy of the six yin, yin, remember yin and yang, meridians. What are the six yin meridians? Well, those are the six, the five major organs plus an uh, area called pericardium which surrounds the heart. So the five major organs are liver, heart, spleen, lungs, kidneys. They all have an essence. They're called the yin organs. They have paired yang organs as well, I'll talk about in a moment. But they all put off a frequency of yin energy. When we do this properly, the, the, the chi moves up and grabs aspects of that yin energy, thereby balancing these areas of our uh, organs and systems. The du meridian also starts from the snow mountain area and flows up the front midline to the top of the head. Oh, excuse me, up the back midline. So the, the Ren Meridian goes up the front to the center of the body. The Du Meridian goes from the Snow Mountain area up the back 
Okay. Aloha and welcome Mary Smith. Aloha, welcome Tally. I think I, I saw you earlier, Tally. Thanks for the comments. Now the Dew Meridian, it gathers the energy of the six Yang Meridians, the gallbladder, small intestine, stomach, large intestine, bladder, and the Sanjiao. <clears throat> so you've heard of those. What is the Sanjiao? The Sanjiao is the upper part, middle part, and lower part of your body the large space that the chi flows in. So these spaces called the yang energies are captured by the, f the flow through the other direction. Okay? The Ren and Dew Meridians connect to create the vertical energy circle. The combined, the Ren and Dew Meridians gather the energy of 12 other meridians. Promoting the energy flow of the Ren and Dew Meridians will promote energy uh, flow of the ten major organs, which I just mentioned, and including the pericardium and the sanjiao, which make a total of twelve. This is a major but little known method for healing all of the major internal organs and the entire body. How does one promote energy flow in these key energy circles of the body? Simple. We apply the four powers. So for the body power, you would stand like I am, and if you can't, then sitting is okay. And we want to have our fingers in a very specific type of position. Now we're going to cause the chi to flow in one direction or another direction. Now we're going to follow Master Shah's guidance here in his book because we're learning directly from his book. He has taught advanced methods in his later books. But we're going to do exactly what he teaches us here, okay? So, for the flow of direction of energy, hand position A. Okay, so everybody, I'm going to show you sideways. Your hands are going to be like this. You touch your, your finger and your thumb together, and they would be gently curled. So your fingers aren't touching each other necessarily, except these two, but it's like this. And you would have your fingers on both sides of your face, like the same, okay? What that's doing is energetically, it's directing your chi in a specific direction. Now, when we do the practice to reverse it, you're simply going to do this. You're going, when I tell you to reverse it, you're simply going to turn your hand the other direction, okay? And that's going to cause the chi to flow a different direction. This is called body power. So, the first position I showed you will make the energy flow from the snow mountain area through the middle of your body. When you, so that's this position. This one's gonna, gonna make it go from the snow mountain area through the center of your body. Okay? This position is gonna make it go from the uh, Kundalini area up your spine. And it will connect at the top. Alright? Soul power. Soul power is saying hello. Uh, for those that are new, soul power is communicating with the soul world, Buddha, angels, healing angels, God, Jesus, the soul world, right? The inner souls, uh, in Master Shah's teaching, all energy and all matter, including the energy and matter that makes up your organs and systems, uh, is created by the same creator that created the outer souls. So we communicate with them equally. So say hello. Uh, so we say hello to the meridians. So everybody repeat after me. Dear soul, mind, and body, of my vertical energy circle, my Ren meridians and my Dew meridians, the soul of my secret hand position, uh, the sound power, which I haven't got to yet, is Dong, D-O-N-G, Dong, uh, the number, the golden light circle, I love you. Please promote energy and light flow in my Ren and Do meridians. Completely open my Ren and Do meridians. Clear all the blockages from my Ren and Do meridians and give me a total healing for my physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual bodies. You have the power to heal yourself. Please do a good job. Thank you. That's called soul power. For the sound power, we are going to chant dong, dong, dong.
give me a moment, for mind power, visualize golden light flowing in a continuous vertical loop through the body along the Ran and Du meridians. Direction of flow will depend on which hand position you use, okay? So we're going to do one position only the first time, we're going to chant for a little while, and then we're going to reverse the position and it's going to go the other direction, okay? <clears throat> All right, so let's do this. Okay, I'm going to turn sideways so you can see the posture accordingly. So again, sitting up or standing, um, your, your body power, we're going to do this one first, okay? like this, and gently relax your fingers. Now what is happening is the chi will go from the snow mountain kundalini area up through your channel up to the top of your head, then back down in front of the spinal column back down to the kundalini. That's the, the pathway that we're doing, okay? So get in this position, close your eyes, visualize with golden light going through this circle and the sound power is dong let's do this together with your eyes closed dong 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 by the way is the number 0 in mandarin chinese so it's the circle do you see the 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 conscious effort circle, see the light going from your kundalini through your seven soul houses up to the top of the head, back down in front of the spine, continue. Do. 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 Okay, now I want you to reverse. So now your palms are going outward. Now you can, it's okay to have them a little further out from your face, whatever is comfortable, okay, but they're, they're pointed outward. So now the chi is flowing from your kundalini point up in front of your spine, up to the top of your crown and back down through the seven soul houses. Okay, so this is the body power. Now place your hands in the proper position Close your eyes, visualize the light going from your snow mountain in front of your spine, up over the top of your head, back down through uh, the central channel, and around again. Same sound power, let us begin. Do. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
so as you can tell, the, um, the body power, your arms might get a little bit tired depending on how long you hold them up there. <clears throat> One of the things that is true about uh, these forms of teachings is called divine flexibility. Why is the hand this way and then the other way? Think about it. What direction is the circle going? It starts here and it's going this way, right? So it's going up the spine, back down, up the spine, back down. When it's facing this way, it's going up to the center and so forth. And so the hand doesn't have to be up here to accomplish the task. Um, you can have it anywhere because your mind power have the hands curled, which gives your body the signal to send the energy a certain way. But uh, you can rest your hands by your side if you need to, to accomplish this. So as indicated, there are uh, more advanced versions uh, in Master Shah's other books that include um, specific mantras that move the energy uh, through the entire channel uh, differently with more power. But um, this is, uh, these are actually very high level secrets that have been kept amongst the masters in the deep mountains of China to help their students open their spiritual channels to reverse illness. Um, this kind of practice, if done, as can be done along with, for example, a Qigong practice. It is a form of Qigong, but there's called uh, two kinds of Qigong, still Qigong and moving Qigong. And one of the errors that many uh, practitioners make is they only do moving Qigong. You also have to do still Qigong because it's yin and yang. It's the vertical and the horizontal. You have to have balance. Okay, so this is an example. Now we're going to discuss the horizontal energy circle. Yeah, I see the vibration made back at you and it tickled. Yeah, this is very powerful stuff. This is, this is really uh, good stuff. So the horizontal energy circle of the body is a loop of energy that circul circulates horizontally through the body. It is also referred to as the belt meridian. The Dai Meridian is one of the four major uh, meridians starting from the snow mountain area at the front of the spinal column. Uh, the Dai Meridian moves up the level of the navel, up the back before circulating to the waist. In order to heal, maintain good health and prevent illness, to keep the energy flowing smoothly in the horizontal energy circle, practice with the Dai Meridian to open and develop its channel further. Okay, so I will repeat, the Dai Meridian starts at the snow mountain area, the same place the other meridian started at. Uh, and it moves up to the level of the navel at the back before circulating inside the waist. So here again is a picture of the dime meridian. Okay, you can see like the four little dots at the bottom, that's at the Kundalini area where it begins and it starts to circulate up to the point of the waist and there is what's called the Ming Men point, which has a connectivity to this. The Ming Men point, remember earlier, I said put your hand in your belly button and draw an invisible line straight back. If you draw a line straight to your back, that's where the Ming Men point is. That's a connection point. It's also called, um, uh, I want to get the name right. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to tell you wrong. It's, I want to say it's like earth gate or something like that, but I could be wrong. So we'll just skip that. All right. So let me read a little bit more on this for you. Remember the big universe, small universe. When you practice with the horizontal energy circle, the Dai Meridian, visualize your own horizontal energy circles connecting with the horizontal energy circles throughout the big universe. Connect with mother earth every planet, every galaxy, and every universe. Connect with every tree, mountain, ocean, cloud, raindrop. Ask the souls, minds, and bodies of everyone and everything to practice with you and to promote the chi flow. Uh, the blessings flow both ways. See? Blessings flow both ways. When we get uh, healthier, Mother Nature also gets healthier and vice versa. The applications visualize the horizontal energy circle 
flowing continuously in your midsection. Golden light pours in from the universe. So the light, the chi is coming in from the universe and it's going through your midsection circling. The horizontal energy circle can actually move up and down. This is important. It can actually move up and down to any part of your body. Okay. So even though the practice is actually here, right? This is where the, the, the zone is. This is where the visualization is. You could actually, let's say you have tightness in the chest. Okay. You could start the practice here and with your mind visualization, move it up to your chest area and accomplish benefit in that manner. Move the horizontal energy circle anywhere and everywhere to flow in every organ, every cell, every strand of DNA, RNA in your body. Apply the four power technique, body power. So for body power, what we're going to do is your hands, your fingers are going to be like this. Okay. So notice all five of them, they're going to be gently touching. Okay. Very gently touching. And you're going to put them here in front of your waist. Right? Right about here in front of your waist. Now that's going to be your body power. Why? Because each one of the fingers represent one of the five major organs, the five elements. We touched on those earlier with the uh, essences. So that's your body power. Soul power. Repeat after me. Dear soul, mind, and body of my die meridian my horizontal meridian. Aloha and welcome Jacqueline Don. Aloha and welcome Janet, uh, Janet Hoffman. And aloha and welcome to uh, everybody else if I haven't seen you. Thank you for joining. Soul power, repeat after me. Dear soul, mind and body of my die meridian. Dear soul, mind and body of my hand positions. Dear soul, mind and body of Dong, the number zero. Dear soul, mind, and body of my horizontal golden light circle. Dear soul, mind, and body of the horizontal golden light circles of Mother Earth, every planet, every galaxy in the universe. I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Could you please give me a blessing to everyone's horizontal energy circle? and bless my horizontal energy circle as well. I am very honored and grateful. So when we visualize, when we do this practice, what we're going to visualize is rotating golden light circle clockwise. Now clockwise is for healing ourselves. Counterclockwise is what opens us up to the universe. We don't do more than one or more than the other. We have to do both. Why? Yin and yang balance. Okay? So clockwise, visualizing clockwise. What is clockwise in front of you? If you're looking at a clock, which direction is it going? That's clockwise. Counterclockwise is the reverse of that. Okay? So uh, the wisdom is when we do clockwise, we're working on ourself. When we do counterclockwise, we are serving all souls outside of us, spiritually speaking. Okay? And for mind power, uh, that's the mind power. Uh, for the sound power, we're going to again use the number zero, which in Mandarin Chinese is Dong, Dong, Dong. Welcome, Shannon Milana. Okay. So, everybody, stand up or sit up straight with your back away from the back of the chair if you're sitting. Touch your fingers together like we just talked about, gently. Relax your shoulders, relax your elbows, nice and loose. Place them in front of your lower abdomen. Okay, so your uh, your thumb should be right about belly button height. Now you would close your eyes. You would visualize the golden light circle. We're going to do clockwise first. Now remember, it starts in your Kundalini area, and we're going to visualize as we chant Dong uh, this circle going around and curling upwards towards your Ming Min point at the middle point of your waist at that dip in your back. Let us begin. Dong 
knees are slightly bent if you're standing. Do. Do. Visualizing the circle clockwise, circling. Once it gets to the Mingmen point, circle it inside your body, through your organs, through the liver, the kidneys, the intestines. See the circle of light uh, going through your entire center of your body. Do I'm going to do a little hula movement with my hips to, to simulate the circle. Do Do Visualize a golden ball in your center of your torso and the golden ball is running around the inside of your body healing and rejuvenating do 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 Ten more times. Visualize the light. See it clearing blockages. Do. Do. I want you to move this up. I want you to move the horizontal light. It's spinning horizontally, but I want you to move it up your body and back down your body. So do it at your own speed. Do. Move it with your mind. Do. Connect your circle to the circle of the universe. Do. 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 Now stop, bring your energy circle back down to your lower abdomen, visualize it circulating back down to where it's 
still circling in your lower abdomen, circling clockwise, and then ask it to come to a stop. Ask it to reverse as it starts to go the other direction. Feel it going the other direction. Notice the difference, the influence. Immediately connect this counterclockwise direction to the stars, to Mother Earth. Connect to the universes. They all flow in this direction. We must have yin and yang. So as you spin your circle, you are connecting. Let us begin. Do Do Visualize your golden circle going as wide as Mother Earth. Stretch it as wide as Mother Earth. Stretch your golden circle past Mother Earth. Stretch your golden circle to Venus and Mars and Jupiter and Neptune, and Uranus, and Saturn, and all the way out to the edge of the galaxy. Stretch your golden circle to the edge of the galaxy. Do. go beyond the galaxy. Go beyond where you are stretching to all of the galaxies and all of creation. You and creation are one. You are the center and your golden spiral connects to all creation. Dear, repeat after me, dear all of creation, please bless my golden spiral. Please bless my awakening of my horizontal energy circle. Do. Dong 
ดองดองดองดองดองดองดองดองดองดองดองดองดอง Remember, you are always connected. There is no need to bring this spiral back in, because it is this connection that keeps you in the correct field and frequencies. Let us bow our heads nine times for this great wisdom that Master Shah has brought. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Master Shah, and thank you, Master Shah's teachers, that shared it with him, and thank you for the approvals to share it with humanity. So, have you enjoyed that practice? What did you like most about it? How did your body respond? I was getting quite hot back there. Did you notice any vibration? My head's a little light myself. Everybody may have a little bit of a different reaction. So pay attention to that. Share what your experience was. This was brought to us through this book, Soul Mind Body Medicine, written by Dr. and Master Shah. He is my spiritual teacher and spiritual father. He is a beautiful soul dedicated to serve humanity. And he brings practices like this and quite a bit more powerful ones through his 20 plus books. So I recommend you pick up one or two and also hit the subscribe buttons. You can tune in to me every Monday through Thursday because that's all I do is I teach what he teaches. I teach you how to awaken your soul, release blockages in your soul houses, open your spiritual channels, open your third eye, clear the blockages, how you can self heal. I offer Dao blessings for those that are in need of personal consultations and personal services, extraordinary blessings that could reverse years of suffering in a very short period of time. So this is because of this Qigong master that I can serve you in this way. So I bow my head to him. I'm very grateful. So lots of positive comments. Uh, blesses the awakenings. Yes, hot vibration, power, can't stop smiling, says Heather. Lots of thank yous. Julia says, have a dense energy blockage in her spine and it's starting to release. Beautiful. Definitely. Uh, we need the horizontal along with the vertical. Still vibrating, hot and wonderful. Buzzing at the top of her head, crown chakra, says um, Jacqueline. Crown chakra activation. Candy says, got dizzy a little, hard to breathe for a minute. Yeah. Um, we, I, one thing I failed to do, and I apologize, I should have brought us all back mentally into our lower abdomen because we stretched ourselves out, which is why I was feeling a little bit lightheaded. Uh, always finish a practice by bringing your, uh, your thought and intention into your lower abdomen, so forgive me for failing to complete that way. Uh, Susan says, felt a bit lightheaded and body is buzzing. So lots of happy faces, lots of happy hearts. Thank you so much for that. And we offer our, all the gratitude to, to Master Shah. It's a great and benevolent soul who's brought this wisdom to us. So, uh, let me see if there's anything else to add. So that's a, that's a pretty good wrap up for today. There is a, another energy circle, but we just don't have the time to cover it today. It's the one that goes spiral like a corkscrew up to the center of the body. But you can learn more about it if you, if you decide to get Master Shah's book. Um, again, you can get them in Amazon. Uh, I would go to the used section in Amazon. Uh, many people ha have these, these books. And the reason they have many in the used section is because uh, millions of them, literally, of these books were given away. And so um, a lot of people actually receive them for free and they're just trying to make a buck or two on them. So you get to save $20 by buying a used one. The books are extraordinary. They have great power and wisdom in them to serve you. As a master teacher, as a certified master teacher, I have the ability to offer crown chakra blessings, karma, excuse me, not karma cleansing, um, Tao blessings that clear the negative uh, energies from your chakras and um, from your organs or systems, if you have pain or suffering along your back or any place else like that, I can offer extraordinary blessings for those things. So feel free to connect with me if you have any uh, interest in that area. I will be back tomorrow. Uh, so I look forward to serving you then. Same time, same place. Love you, love you, love you. 
thank you, thank you, thank you. And you got to hear, don't worry, be happy, which is how I set all my alarms. So when my alarms go off, I don't jerk. I go, oh, don't worry, be happy. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.